All right, so I am here with Carter right now. It is actually almost 24 hours since he's been born. Birth went great, um, went as good as it possibly could. Um, it was still a little bit intense them trying to get him out because he was really stuck in there. He didn't want to come out, so. Um, but it was so amazing to be able to watch him be born. I I never had that opportunity with Brielle or Kellen, so that was really amazing. That was so cool. Um, very emotional moment. It was amazing. So anyway, um, he's just napping right now. Um, I just finished feeding him. Um, but basically yesterday, um, we got some results back from my blood work on that I took on Monday, and there's there was this rare antibody that they found in my blood and because of that um kellen oh kellen <laughs> this is so bad already um carter had higher levels of bilirubin in his blood um when he was very you know fresh out of the womb so that's not super normal so since he has had high levels um he has been under um, UV light to help bring those belly ribbon levels down so that he doesn't have jaundice. So um, that's what the light is behind me. And so we were kind of, um, it felt like there was someone coming in here like honestly every half hour for the past 24 hours. I really haven't had like a big chance to catch up. Um, we did get some good sleep last night. I think we got about maybe I think I got around like three or four hours of sleep overall so not too bad but um, we haven't really had too much downtime just to chill until about today so we were just kind of um, rolling with the punches yesterday um, I've been doing okay but yesterday I was feeling very sick and nauseous and very dizzy like I couldn't even lift my head up and so that's why we just didn't I just didn't pick up the camera it just wasn't important at that time we were just trying to figure everything out so right now um, he is prob I'm probably gonna put him back on the lamps so that he can have some more of that light um, I'm just holding him after a feed because I haven't um, I've held him but not as much as I would if he didn't have to be on the lights but anyway um, we're doing well today I feel a little bit more rested I'm still pretty tired but that's normal <laughs> he's smiling a little bit um, yeah, it's good. We were able to FaceTime with um, my parents and the kids and the people that were close to us. So that was really nice and we're all really excited about him. So just, just praying that his um, belly ribbon levels stay down so that we can go home. Looks like we're going to be staying another night here in the hospital, which I don't mind. It's very quiet and calm here and it's nice to just have this one-on-one -on -one time with Carter. So... We're just hanging out right now. I haven't taken a shower yet. I did get my catheter out this morning, which is great. Um, I feel so much better and I'm getting a lot of mobility, which is awesome. So that feels really good. So there he is in his little bed. He's got his lamp on him. Um, there's one underneath him as well. And this is where he's been sleeping. And we actually had to have this on all night so that he could get um, basically the sun. <laughs> and he's been peeing and pooping all right. So that's been good. Um, but yeah, he has to wear this little mask to cover his eyes so that it doesn't, um, it just protects his eyes and then they actually had to put an IV in him because they weren't able to get um, his blood from his foot very well so that's been kind of hard to see him have that but overall he's doing well his vitals are good um, he's peeing and pooping like I said so hopefully his levels um, go down and we can bring him home tomorrow that would be awesome
I look postpartum right now. Um, I still have the wash on my stomach. Um, got the underwear. And uh, this is where we're at. Um, I can take a shower in about, um, in about half an hour. So that'll feel nice to feel clean. My body will feel clean and all that stuff. Um, I still have the catheter patch on my leg, which will take off in a little bit, but yeah. Then we got our pizza here that we got last night. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, I'm feeling overall good. Staying on top of that pain medication, which is helping a lot and just trying to stay as rest as possible. So it's about four o'clock now and Carter is just still underneath the lights. I had to put a blanket over him because he was startling himself awake constantly and he couldn't settle down. So there is a pad on the on the on his back that's giving him some light. So at least it's something. But he's always kind of not settled in there because he's not super tightly swaddled or anything. And then you can hear the sound machine just going here. We have it on the heartbeat sound and that seems to be helping him a lot. Now up, I got dressed into my own clothes and everything and took a shower so I feel a lot better. Um, Luke is here too. How are you feeling? I feel pretty good. Um, we were just talking about birth plans and how it's interesting that we've just never created a birth plan because yeah. they just never go to plan. Like, no, ever. Mm -hmm. Which is how birth kind of is, right? It's out of your control, right? So it is, I guess it's going on day two. Tomorrow morning will be 48 hours after Carter has been born. Um, tonight I'm going to be staying here and Luke is going to go home with the kids as they've been at my parents' place and they kind of need to sleep in their own beds and it'll be good and then I'll get some alone time here at the hospital and I'm totally okay with that. I know I'm not going to get this alone time with Carter again so that'll be nice and then kids get to see daddy and then we'll hopefully go home tomorrow. That's what they're saying so I think it'll be okay. Yeah it depends on the nurse. Some say it might be in the evening, some are more optimistic and yeah. say it might be in the morning. And yeah I guess we'll have to see what happens but oh yeah I also have my IV out now too which is nice. Well, it's still in, but it's just disconnected right now, so I can get my own clothes on and stuff, which, like I said, feels really nice to not be in the hospital again anymore, because I just feel so much more cleaner having a shower and stuff, so feeling good, feeling okay. Um, staying on top of the pain medication, it feels good to walk around. Um, staying in bed definitely does not make me feel very good, but overall, we're doing good. He's feeding pretty well, but my nipples really hurt. <laughs> <laughs> so that's just part of it but anyway hopefully we'll get some food here and we'll go into the night When I picked up the camera last, um, it is actually the next day. Um, our night was kind of rocky. I, well, not rocky, but um, I just didn't get any sleep at all. Maybe got like one to two hours and Carter was underneath the lights all night. And so um, he would startle himself to sleep or sorry, I can't talk. He would startle himself awake almost constantly. And so we did not get um, a good sleep last night, him and me. And so we are feeling very tired today. Um, he did get his blood work done again this morning. He is now taken off the lights. And so um, now we just have to see um, after his blood is taken now at 6 p.m. 
if he is good to go home. So it is now three o'clock in the afternoon now. He is 48 hours old and he's doing well. He's feeding well, he's pooping, he's peeing, he's doing all the good stuff. Um, and now my milk has just come in and I am very uncomfortable. So I am, he's sleeping right now. So I'm actually going to be pumping a little bit just to get some relief because my boobs are like, they're just rock hard and they hurt so much. Um, Luke is still at home with the kids so I am just really enjoying this one-on-one -on -one time with Carter before we go home hopefully tonight that would be so nice but if not that's just how it is and we'll have to stay one more night but I'm really feeling like I want to be in my own bed tonight but I'll just have to roll with it whatever happens happens um, so yeah he's doing really good he's just having a good sleep I think because he's finally swaddled because before he was just free and that startle reflex would just wake him up constantly. So now that he's swaddled, he's having a really good nap. So that's really good. This is what my table is looking like right now. I got my coconut water that I packed earlier. This is a big thing of water. Another thing of water, but that's gone. Um, these are awesome little snacks for the hospital. If you're wondering, this is my stool softener that I need to drink. <laughs> And then my nipple cream over here, um, my scrunchie, this is my sound machine over there, definitely a must have. I got some Teddy Grahams I've been snacking on, but I would really like to have something for dinner. Hospital meals are not the best. And then this is the pump over here that I'm going to be using to just relieve some of that pressure. All right, so just pumped a tiny little bit. Um, this was actually just in about mm, not even five minutes. I did it on both sides just to relieve some of that pressure because it's starting to really hurt. And this little guy is woken up. Hi. Are you ready to eat? Hi. How are you doing? Hi, buddy. All right, I'll grab you in a second, okay? good feed you did and you had the biggest poop yet you had the biggest poop did you hmm? oh you did yeah oh, that's so sweet looking around all right buddy let's change your bum okay <laughs> all right you're so cute all right guys, so we're just chilling here in the room. Um, basically, we're just now waiting for that blood work to happen pretty quick here. So after that happens, hopefully we'll be cleared to leave. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video um, and just following along with me with this pregnancy and postpartum. Um, I appreciate all you guys so, so much. So anyways, um, we're gonna hang out. I think he's waking up again and it's time to feed. So anyways, thanks again for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.